Joining us now from Philadelphia's film and television critic Katya Woods. And Ms. Katya, thank you so much for joining us here on the Midday Jolt. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yay. So what can the movie Passing, which is set in the 1920s, tell us about race and colorism today? There's so much. I mean, it is still a conversation that's so embedded in our community. We have family members that we are disconnected from because they chose to pass or they felt as though they had no other choice in order to have opportunities and just to live a semi-normal life. We are disjointed from many of our families, like Rebecca was in, in her case, because someone made the decision to, to pass. And I think hopefully this movie will be a starter kit to our conversation to re re reconnecting with family and to also tackle colorism because it's very much prevalent still in our community. Hi, Katya Woods, the Philadelphia Tribune. How are you today? Hey, good. Hi. Oh, you two are fun in this. A lot of fun, oh, a lot thank of you. fun. Thank Let's you. start with you, John. It's nice to see you doing comedy again. Oh, thanks. Um, <laughs> and just the, from the entrance, to like everything it is <laughs> utterly ridiculous but in a good way what did you feel when you were like reading the script and you were like who is this guy or were you like yay i can't wait to jump in hi kathy woods the philadelphia tribune how are you wanda finding you excellent love that you recorded this special in my hometown of philadelphia um you know and i love I love how you use humor to talk about things, you know, that us 50 and over girls are going <laughs> through, uh, especially menopause, which is not a good time. Uh, mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that because everybody makes aging, you know, yes, we look wonderful for our age, but there are things that are part of it that are not fun, like your knees not being what they used to be, uh -huh. your back hurting, and definitely menopause. Talk a little bit about oh, that. Yeah. Kathy Woods with the Philadelphia Tribune. Hi, Holly. How are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you? Amazing. Just as a mom of a little brown girl who now is 21 but loved all princesses, I have to say, I this is just amazing. Talk about that because it's not just little girls. It's a lot of us who are moms, who are little girls ourselves that are just having an amazing time with this film and seeing you as Ariel. Kathy Woods, the Philadelphia Tribune. Hi, Coleman. Hi, friend. I am beyond thrilled for you. Talk a little bit what it means to you to play this iconic role, seeing the similarities that you have, not only as identity, but most importantly, regionally. Like, he is from an area that you're very well known. And what does it mean to you to play this man? Kathy Woods, Capo Social. Buenas tardes, señores. ¿Qué tal? Juan Antonio, quería preguntarlo primero. Es una uh, historia que contaba por diferentes directores. Lo que he hecho que pueden hacer y cuál era tu interés para hacer esta historia ahora en este tiempo. Hello everyone, Katia Woods, Cup of Soul Show, uh, here in the United States, out of Philadelphia, but I'm currently in LA, so that's how life is. Como va, todo bien, espero que vocês estén bien. <laughs> okay. I mean, it no faz cool. uh, um, one of the things that I really loved about this film, it's it's a complex thing. It's not very clear. So first I wanted to ask, what made you say, okay, I want to make a film about this? I know you were interested in human trafficking, but you know, it's one thing to say, hey, I have an interest in a subject matter. It's another thing to say, okay, I'm going to make a film about it been a fan of yours since as the world turns my grandmother used to I watch love it. it yes listen we love our soap opera I know. Good story line. our stories yeah. we call them our stories yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. Looks like you. katia woods the philadelphia tribune hello ladies hi listen when we start with this movie we think miss gracie is the one but miss natalie elizabeth <laughs> is spicy <laughs> and funny and i love that for you because no, you don't play the, the awful girl. And I'm like, I'm like she, is, she is a, a mean girl too. So it's like villain 1A and 1B. Yes. Mm. Talk about that. Because it had to have been fun. Like even really in that scene where she's like, that's what adults do. I was like, you are horrible. <laughs> 
Hi, Josh Cathy Woods with the Philadelphia Tribune. How are you? Yeah, doing all right. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, you play a guy. Ooh, yeah. You should have left him. You know, we this is the guy you leave at the party. Oh, yes. Uh, no accountability. Like, clueless. You know? Clueless. Talk about that. Because he, you know, we all know someone like that, but he is like accountability missed but to the 10th power. Yeah, 100%.